Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bake back. Today we're talking about Marcus Smart, the number 6th overall player picked in the draft by the Celtics, my home team. And as you can see, he's got number 3 on. The face looks pretty good, but he's not going to be number 3 in the NBA. He's chosen the number 36. 3 was taken by Dennis Johnson, who was bad and retired. Then 33 was Larry Bird's number, which was retired. The history just goes on and on. But yeah, he's going with 36, combination of his favorite, his uh, draft number, and his previous number, which is 3 and 6. So there you go. I think that was the, the reasoning that he had behind it. There might have been something else mixed in there. But yeah, let's uh, check out his uh, number as we change it right here. But... You guys can see he looks pretty good. The defense is pretty solid. It, it's not. It could be a little bit better, I think. But he's got a decent steal rating. He's pretty good at going to the rim. His dribbling's not too bad either. And when I actually got out on the court with him, he's pretty good for a 6'4 guard. And he plays. That's one of his advantages, playing to his size. And originally when I, I saw the Celtics draft him, I, I couldn't have been more disappointed for a few reasons. I, I, I'll get into this, but I've changed my opinion. As soon as they drafted him, I, before they even got to the pick, I was disappointed. <laughs> because I wanted Joel Embiid. I really thought maybe he would fall down to them somehow. Everybody was saying he was going to fall. He was going to fall. And he didn't. He didn't even come close to falling down to them. Instead of falling down to them, he went to three, which is about, I mean, as far as you could have expected him to fall. And it was just disappointing in my perspective. But then they go and get Marcus Smart who's pretty much a two-guard playing point guard, and he's pretty much a two-guard that can't shoot that well. He really is not that great at shooting. He's working on it, but, I mean, every rookie's working on their shooting. They're working on this and that, but I just don't think he's that great of a shooter. He's pretty good at attacking the rim, but I, I don't want to compare him to Rondo because that's not really how he plays, but, I mean, just the fact that they can't consistently knock down shots, I feel that's how they're kind of similar. And I, I, I didn't see the, I, I guess, strength in picking this person. I mean, clearly the Celtics think he's going to be the best player at that position, you know, at the um, six pick of draft. That's why they took him. But I just, I don't know. I thought the team needed a big man. I would have liked Julius Randle, a really solid big man who instead goes to the Lakers to make things even worse. And I just, I don't know. At first, I was really turned off by this pick. But... Now that I've heard that Danny Ainge actually wants to play him alongside with Rondo, I like that, actually. For some reason, I don't know, I feel like they could be a really dangerous, just fast, defensive team. Just I think I could I, I could get behind watching that, and I think it actually might work out, but I'm not sure. Because, I mean, this guy's pretty big. I like that, but I just, I don't know. At first, I was really turned off by it, but I'm slowly coming around to it. But the Celtics really need a big man. I like the second pick that they did with the draft, but, uh, yeah. They need a big man. They really do. You cannot win in this league without some solid defense and a big man, a presence down low. Like San Antonio had, they had so many big men that were just solid. And yeah, the Celtics need that. And right now, the closest thing they have to a big man is Kelly Olynyk, who's good, but not defensively. That's not his strong point. We need a big defensive big man, and there's not too many of those. And yeah, I mean, Julius Randle's not really one of those either, but... I, I don't know. I really like Julius Randle. I would have liked to see him in a Celtics uniform, but still, I'm optimistic now, whereas at first I was like, oh my goodness, you got to be kidding me. That's who they drafted, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought, and there's Marcus Smart in hopefully 2K15. <laughs>